Guarantee dive him. Yeah, 007X wasting no time. Moss doesn't land the play, but now he's tanking up the turret. One more auto attack, and oh my goodness, decides to take a second turret shot, and he's gonna die to Thaldron. Meanwhile, dive successful in the bottom side of the map. Thaldron able to escape this one as 007X does get the stun. Red buff is now ticking on this Maokai, but he's got the arcane smash. Wants to get over the edge, but 007X picks up the kill. On the Hunter's Knife, and Lloyd, you're in trouble. Oh, beautiful spell shield, though, getting him out of that knock-up. He walks back towards his turret. Wow, is that a crit? What the hell? Flashes, picks up the kill underneath the turret. Death Sentence not going to find Nadius as he relentlessly pursues away from the turret. Moss comes down, does have a decent flay there. 007X looking for something. Dumbledore, is he going to be able to disengage this one? Does have a shield there. 007X trying to close the gap. Oh my goodness, Moss's Thresh play is beautiful. Yep, teleport. teleport behind the top lane here. Bangkok Titans, they do manage to pick that one up. Moss with the Dark Passage gets him right on top of Theocles. Death Sentence is going to help. Lee Sin going in as well. Not quite getting there. Lee Sin coming from the backside. We'll see whether he can get anything done as 007X is on a killing spree. Picks up Nadius yet again as Warlock trying to take down Thaldren. He gets smote here as well as Dumbledore's very low on health. Oriana's there at the same time. G4 comes through. Picks up energy though. And there is action everywhere across this map. Yeah. You could put Galio in the top lane. And I actually think he fulfills more of a role as, wow, 007X gets chunked out than what Lee Sin currently does in this composition. He doesn't push waves any better. Not great. Wow, Moss. Yeah, there's in fact the box coming through here. Moss trying to get out, but he's going to die. It's actually going to be Theocles that picks up that kill. The Dragon helping the Bangkok Titans out a little bit as Lloyd trying to get some damage over the top. 007X gets healed up, but it's not enough. The shutdown goes over to Nadius. Is an Oriana shield, a Jana shield. I never said it was a good idea. He's going to head over the wall there. Understands that he's probably not going to find it. And Theopoli is going to smite that one away. That skit is pretty gold. amazing. Descent's going to land on a Nadius here as well. Dark Passage available for 007X, who does find Nadius now as well. Energy coming over the top. But Shikdash are collapsing on top. Nadius, he's going to trade his life. It's a nice shockwave. They came across over to 007X, but G4 with so much burst heads back over the top again as the Bangkok Titans are turning this fight on its head. The tree is burning down, is not going to be able to get back into this fight. As energy, the back is stopped. G4 has found the Oriana, and three members of Bangkok Titans trying to get something done. Dissonance onto Warlock, but he's full tank lease in. Super utility mode. <laughs> able to make sure that he's not going to fall down. And what do you think, Warlock, now that he has a massive amount of health, can he build a Hydra? Or is it just too late? To the back side, though, as Warlock trying to create a situation for himself. Howling Gale going to cause D4 to get out of here as Thaldron engages on him. The LeBlanc in trouble as the Cullen comes through. Nice shockwave, but only lands on a Warlock as Lloyd picks up the kill. So much damage! from G4 as he's shooting around this fight. 007X gonna take down Nadius. Double kill for the Udia and the Bangkok Titans doing ridiculous things with this team comp. The chilling smite onto Thaldren. Why it exists, I just don't know what it does. Ah, right. Thaldren gonna get caught up by the Mimic Chain, so nice death sentence to come down, but that's the tank. Maybe not the target they wanna be focusing here as the Oh my goodness, that Monsoon was actually fantastic. Stopped a lot of the damage, but Lloyd picks up the kill here. Nadia takes so much damage from this Sivir. Lloyd is doing work here in these fights and able to really stop Besiktas from getting anything done. And once again, talking about your boy Moss flying over the wall with his flash is... Wow! What? Oh, G4 looked for the chain, didn't find it there under Dumbledore. As the Bangkok Titans are going to have to get out of underneath this turret, but no, another creep wave comes through. Warlock comes down. That's a nice shockwave onto a couple of members, but Warlock tanking up this team. A boomerang comes across, doesn't find Nadius though. And then they rotate into a nice top lane turret as <laughs> <laughs> going back. Swag stance, Udia, heading back to base. It's a little bit more than the rest, you have to think. Yeah, it certainly does. It sets, I guess, especially the pick fan phase. Oh, it's G4. G4. Tries to get some work done here. 007X now finding his way into the middle of the fight. That's actually the decoy of G4 hanging around there in that fight as the Oculus almost falls down. 007X secures the kill as Nadia plays the heal a little bit late, you have to think. On the hunt's being popped. Lloyd getting so much AoE damage down. Double Doge 
has to get out here. 007X does fall down, but my god! Deleted was Nadius there, and Warlock now finds his way into the fight, realizes just how useless he is because the Bangkok Titans did all that they needed to without the lease in. This is honestly a 4v5 Atlas, and Bangkok Titans are winning it convincingly. 0, 2, and 4 on lease in in a 15 kill game for his team. Not Just for his team. <laughs> <laughs> for nothing. As my god, G4, the chains from downtown. Oh, yes. But this is just a terrifying team fight. Oriana, unfortunately, energy just not having a terrific game. Absolutely no fear at all. Able to do anything he wants. All the Desperation Baron to come through here by Besiktas. Dumbledore takes so much damage. G4 in and out again. Picks himself up a kill. It is going to be the Maokai taking down the Baron yet again as Besiktas. They have that. They might be able to get some work done. Lloyd tanking up a bit of the culling, but he is going to be okay in the end as Nadius has tried to get out, but the bear stands through to you. Coming through with all the damage. Can't close the gap, so he's going to be fine. Not get it. Wants to be able to burst the target. G4 looking for a chain, doesn't find it here as Soldrin. Does pop the Righteous Glory. Warlock in amongst the fight. The ball in position here. Dumbledore gets caught by the death sentences. The box gets put down. Theocles, that's a full channel on the ultimate. 007X able to get out there. It's the Shockwave onto two pretty priority targets. Lloyd taking that one as Moss tanks it up as well. But... The Bangkok Titans seem to do what their comp isn't supposed to, is look at the go button being pressed here. Soldron getting engaged on yet again. They're going to remove the tank from this fight if they can, but he's getting healed up. There's the ult from Theocles as well as the Bangkok Titans. They're starting to fall Whoa. low. Nice shockwave as well as Nadius picks up G4. All of the carries are dead, and that was the quickest triple kill I have ever seen in my life. Bangkok Titans now on the run as Warlock and Moss Trying to get away, Nadius for the quadra kill. Picks up Moss and Besiktas erupt onto the rim. Yeah, to take up the turret. 20 seconds, I think they can nearly win the game. Warlock is here, he's gonna have to go for the one man power play. No, they can't, they have to back away. Not long enough coming through them. Yeah, and they're gonna even out the dragons as well. This is a very close match all of a sudden. Yes, yeah, so they're able to get in there, and Nadia's the Bloodthirster as well as the Orianna Jana. Whoa, energy getting taken down low here by a combo from G4, but he takes a lot of his health. Dissonance to speed up the Nunu. G4 coming back in yet again. Takes a Maokai with him as the passive is popped as well. There's Whoa. the Shockwave on the, um, Moss and, of course, Warlock there as Soldier getting taken down low, but he's so tanky. 007X falls down. Another bunch of kills for Nadius, who's just starting to go off. Warlock. Kicks him back away so he doesn't kill Lloyd. One, and they'll just head straight back to the Baron. Yeah, exactly right. Dumbledore might even take down Moss. The 1v1 support duel. Oh, they're looking for it. Moss wants to pick up some more. We zoom in for the sick action as Dumbledore picks up the kill. Yeah, back at Baron. They've collapsed onto Warlock. He's pretty hard to kill, but he will go down. Just trying to delay. As will Energy nearly. Yeah, Energy tanking up the Baron here for just a little bit too long, but that Command Protect going to save his life for now. And no one in range, and that is going to be Baron number two for Besiktas. Yeah, Besiktas in firm control. In the last few team fights. Yeah, and look feel at like the shields onto Nadius. He's able to get his Bloodthirster shields on. They go. Yeah, they're oh, oh, the Hula Hoop onto Energy, though. Nadius still going to take down the Silver. That's a whole lot of damage now gone. They take down the turret as well, and Energy just proven that they don't really need that shockwave to be in the right position to be able to win the rest of this game as Warlock. He's got 4,000 health, but why the heck would you hit him? <laughs> yeah, he's running around throughout the middle of this one. Is able to escape but, of course, was just soaking up damage for a little while. The Nexus now is exposed as Warlock trying to make himself a target. Soldrin tanking up this one for quite some time. The Maokai is going to fall. The Ocalys goes down low, but the Nexus was focused by Nadius. He knows what he's supposed to be doing. And game one goes to Besiktas. In convincing fashion in the end, they got the scaling comp to the late yeah. game.